Okay, what I'm trying to do here is get some water from the pool into the infinity trough. So I'm using this short length of hose. Put your finger over one side, put my finger over one side. And it acts as a, um, a siphon, but there's not a whole lot of water coming through here. So I went and purchased this um, irrigation hose. It was like six bucks at Home Depot and I put a chain on one end. I'm gonna put this into the pool. And then seal that end. I'm going to use an Apple, not an Apple laptop, not an iPhone, not an iPad, just your Apple. Put it in and then you quickly bring it over the top of the, the infinity. And you get this big time flow. So I was curious how much water is coming out of here. So I've got this timer, empty five gallon pail. Let's see now, start it. It's right around four seconds. Now, something else I got to thinking, what would happen if I used a 99 cent ball. This is a 99 cent rubber ball. I'll put this in the tube. And then again, quickly bring it over the top. And I get that. Which, you can see the ball is really spinning around. And it's still a lot of pressure. And for whatever it's worth, you can take this ball and move it over to the swallow siphon and you get the same effect. And all of this is um, really good because with this you can get maybe 4,500 gallons an hour of water, this much less. Uh, maybe it might amuse certain people. Maybe if it was a larger ball, it would also design, maybe you can have something on the outside of the ball and it would um, send off light. You can use it at night. You know, at night this might work. If you have the ball and, and some reflective material on it and a light shining, it might shoot light all over. And for some reason, it's not rotating. It's kind of staying in the same position. Well, whatever. That's my um, uh, big siphon and little siphon using a 99 cent ball. Thanks. Bye.